Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jackie. It is indeed a good day to be alive and to be thankful. I am featuring today the Philodendron Micans. Now the Philodendron Micans is one of those plants that you will find is very easy to take care of. It is a plant that you can grow on a trellis, like it can climb, or you can have it hanging. It is a very easy care plan and I'm going to be sharing with you how I take care of this one. Now let's look quickly at the texture of the leaves on the philodendron micans. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer. It has a velvety texture, very soft, very smooth texture on the leaf and the newer leaves um, come out with a little shade of brown and as it matures then the leaves will get a darker shade of green but still with that velvety texture that is the signature on the um, philodendron micron so notice the the older leaves are a little bit darker right but that's um, one cool thing about the philodendron micron in terms of the soil mixture I'm gonna bring this up a little bit closer so you can see so you will notice I have um, a very airy soil mix that has some charcoal, perlite, um, some potting mix, but not heavy potting mix, very light. And I also have some orchid mix mixed in with my, uh, my soil mix for the micans. This is um, very airy, so it gives it a chance to dry out quickly. Now, typically, uh, micans do not mind being root bound, so it doesn't require repotting very often. And many people like to have like a full plant. So you can, if you find that your um, plant is a little bit sparse at the top, what you can do once it starts to trail, you cut, propagate and put it back in the same pot so you can have a full mix like what you see here. This is a, a full mix right at the top, right? And um, you can also check if you see roots coming out at the bottom. So right here, I have some roots coming out right at the bottom of the pot, but I still think I'm gonna keep it in this pot for a while. Um, but that's usually an indication for, depending on the size of the pot you have, that you need to repot your micans, but they don't mind being root bound at all. <laughs> I don't have a watering schedule. I simply um, use my water meter to check when it's um, it's dry and it needs to to be watered. And sometimes I just lift the pot and I feel it. If it feels a little bit um, light, then I know I need to give it a good watering. And typically, I bottom water all my plants, so um, that was my solution to get <laughs> getting rid of fungus gnats. So um, I bottom water all my plants. So um, I do that and then I allow it to dry out uh, before between waterings. In terms of fertilizing, uh, these plants you can fertilize in the growing season. And um, what I typically do once the growing season starts, I will do a half strength uh, of the mix that I use, the fertilizer that I use. And I just make sure every time I water, it gets some, um, some food. So I just do a half strength so I'm not over fertilizing and I do this right through the growing season for my Americans. Now, in terms of uh, propagation, um, when you are propagating the philodendron micans, you simply would identify where the node of the plant is. So this would be a node right here and you cut right below the node. And once you cut below the node, you can put that in water so it can propagate or you can put it in sphagnum moss or perlite that can be used as well. So there is a node and sometimes you will see um, tiny roots protruding from the node. You simply cut it a little bit below the node and then you're able to propagate and get um, new plants. I am not sure why this plant is so difficult to find in some places because it is a very fast grower and very easy to propagate. You are propagating once you put this in whatever medium you use then once you have roots that are 
roughly one and a half to two inches long then you can go ahead and put it in soil so this is one that I have um, growing from the mother plant now right to um, the back you will see my philodendron mycon just growing on a trellis um, it has put on a lot of growth um, in the past few months and if you notice that um, the philodendron mycons, when you put it on a trellis, the leaves tend to get uh, much bigger as it climbs up on the trellis. Um, when you compare that to the one that grows um, in a basket, a hanging basket. So there you have it. Let me just move this. All right, so this is the mycons that is what we call a trailing plant now let's just take a quick look at the leaves so if you notice the leaves on the mycon that trails the leaves tend to be a little bit smaller when you compare it to the one that's growing and I'll give a close-up comparison let's see so this is the the mycons in my hanging basket and you can see the size of the leaves in the hanging basket when you compare it to the one the leaves that are growing on the trellis. Just look how big those leaves are as they climb up on the trellis. They are pretty big compared to when they hang. So let me do a close up right there. That's, you'll see the difference, right? So if you like your micans with bigger leaves, you can put it on a trellis and you will see that it grows much, much bigger. So this one is climbing very nicely on the trellis. And as you can see, leaves are approximately 12 centimeters long, so pretty good size. And here is a trailer in a basket. Leaves are roughly eight centimeters long. Pruning your mycons will create a bushier plant. If you notice that it is very leggy, just cut it back and that will force the plant to push out new growth at different points. Yellow leaves on your mycons could be caused by too much light, too little or too much water, or it could be a nutrient deficiency. So keep checking your mycons to make sure you're providing it with the right conditions for growth. Remember to check your plants for common pests such as fungus gnats, scale, aphids, spider mites, mealybugs and uh, constantly clean your leaves to make sure that your mycons is looking healthy. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support on this channel. Do like this video, subscribe to my channel, just hit that subscription button right at the bottom. And if you have a philodendron mycons, let me know how you take care of your mycons. And if you find that it's an easy care plan as well. And I will definitely see you in the next one. Take care of yourself. Remember always you are number one. Be kind to each other. And I will definitely see you in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.